Hey everyone, and welcome back to another post from r slash am I the booty hole, a subreddit where anyone can post a scenario and commenters get to decide who's at fault. Today's post, am I the booty hole for wanting a sunrise wedding? Every year on our anniversary, my fiance and I wake up early to go to the beach and watch the sunrise together. It's a very special tradition as we both have overcome a number of personal challenges during our time together, and the symbolism of watching a new day begin is deeply meaningful for us. We decided we wanted to incorporate this into our wedding. Our plan is to have our ceremony on the beach and to have everyone walk over to the beachfront restaurant for breakfast, Bloody Marys and mimosas. We've already talked to the restaurant owner about this, who loves the idea and said he'd be happy to open early for us. After that, everyone is free for the remainder of the day. Our friends and family are mostly local and should all be able to travel to the beach in under an hour, except for some extended family flying in from Canada, but that's unavoidable. Based on our geographic location and the date of the wedding next summer, we've scheduled the ceremony start time for 5.30 a.m., when there should be plenty of light, but the sun itself won't be quite visible yet. We've been getting a lot of backlash from our families about this, who say this is way too early and we need to move the ceremony to a more normal time of day. But my fiance and I don't feel like we're asking for anything that's unreasonable. Am I the booty hole? A good solution is to have a private ceremony with you and your fiance at 5.30, and then have a second ceremony at a more reasonable time for the guests. The first one can be just the two of you, reciting your vows to each other, or the two of you and a wedding officiant with a handful of close friends and relatives who are willing to join. If having two ceremonies is too costly and unreasonable, then just do the first option, with the two of you only speaking private vows. This is really the best option. OP gets a sweet, romantic, meaningful sunrise vow exchange, maybe some nice photos of just the two of them, and then a more reasonably timed ceremony slash celebration with family and friends that's easier to attend. Isn't part of what's magical about the sunrise supposed to be how peaceful and private and quiet it is? Don't drag a bunch of people into your happy sunrise who aren't 100% thrilled to be there. Keep that for you and your spouse, just the two of you. If they aren't 100% thrilled to be there, they shouldn't be at a wedding full stop. You don't pander to guests at your wedding. This is just an alien thing to say. I adore my sisters. They're my best friends in the world. I was in one of my sister's wedding and I will be in my others. I absolutely want to be there for them on their special day. It means the world to me. But if either one of them told me they wanted their wedding at sunrise, would I be thrilled to wake up at 4.30 a.m. or whatever ungodly hour to get ready for their wedding? <laughs> F no. Full stop. And since people can't read, I said I wouldn't be thrilled. Not that I wouldn't go. Calm yourselves. Depending on numbers of bridesmaids, it could be like midnight 1 a.m. wake up time. I love my friends and family, but I would laugh my way to the post office with my regretfully declined card. <laughs> That's being generous. I'm a wedding photographer, so I deal with timelines all the time. If she wants a 5.30 ceremony, she needs to be in the dress for 5.15. That means if she's getting ready on site, she needs to start her hair and makeup no later than 3.44 a.m. Depending on how many people are in the party and how many hair slash makeup artists she can successfully get to agree to do this wedding, a midnight to 1 a.m. start time for bridal prep is much more likely. I love my clients, I really do but I'd have a really hard time agreeing to a shoot like this. With weddings I've been to, you're looking more to starting to prepare at midnight to jump in the car by 4.30 a.m. This, everyone saying and not the booty hole, needs to think. OP wants the ceremony to start at 5.30 a.m. and most people are an hour away. Yes, they can get a hotel if there are ones around there, but still, OP is expecting people to get up at best 4 a.m. to get ready, if they got a hotel. Or at worst, 3 a.m. if they had to drive the hour. That isn't feasible for some people, 
I mean, if I had to get up that early, I probably would have a super hard time going to sleep and an even harder time getting up. The previous poster was right. Do a sunrise ceremony for just the two of you and have a bigger party for everyone else. If I'm being generous, I would say, no a-holes here. I think it's unrealistic to expect everyone to be there at that time, but if one of my best friends or one of my sisters said they wanted to do that, of course, I would be there. I agree and want to say no a-holes here. You deserve the wedding you want. Yours sounds beautiful. It is never unreasonable to host the wedding of your dreams, but it is unreasonable to expect your desired guest list to attend if the timing, location, or whatever is so unusual that it would be a hardship. Have the wedding you want. If it ends up being small, that's fine. If you want a big party, make a day of it and have a second ceremony. You are well within your rights to have a sunrise ceremony. Your guests are well within their rights to decline to attend. No a-holes here. I feel that having a bunch of yawning people with five extra shot of coffees in their hands whining about being so tired, sure way to ruin that sunrise forever. This was the other aspect of it I was thinking of by saying don't drag people there who aren't 100% there. My husband and I love the snow. We go out for romantic, quiet, snowy walks at 3 a.m. in the middle of winter. It's our thing. I wanted to get married outside in the snow, but I knew people would effing hate that, and I can't blame them. So my ass got married in a heated greenhouse. I could see the snow outside, but my guests were cozy and comfy. Compromise. I didn't have to associate people being uncomfortable or unhappy with something that holds a lot of positive meaning to me. Keep the sunrise private and sweet and, lo and lovely. I'm going with this idea. Do something private for the two of you at dawn. A first look photo session with a good photographer, a private promise ceremony, or something of the sort. You can then do a morning wedding for the family at the same beach site, even at 9 a.m. while the day is still young, with a brunch reception to follow. This honors your personal tradition and makes it part of your wedding day while keeping it intimate and precious and not potentially tarnished by the actions of your guests, whether intentional or accidental. No a-holes here. I can see the beauty of the picture in your head, but feel that the reality will wind up being very different. Each new element you introduce to your tradition will create a ripple effect. Efficient, hair and makeup for the bride beforehand, photography, seating, each set of guests, it all adds up. Keep it simple. Keep it pure. Build the rest afterwards. I think this is your best bet. You are not the booty hole for wanting what you want, but you will not have a good guest experience. The above suggestion is a wonderful solution that gives you both. Everyone sucks here. I wouldn't attend this wedding. That's a crazy time. However, it's your wedding, so do you. Just be aware, there may be a low attendance. They suck for wanting the wedding they want? <laughs> really? They're not being dicks to people. They're not telling people they're a-holes for not attending. They aren't berating people who don't want to come and go that early. They just want to have the wedding that means the most to them. I agree, attendance will likely be lower than normal, but I don't think they're a-holes for wanting something that is meaningful to them. It's their wedding. But that doesn't mean that they can do whatever they want without giving any thought to the guest that you asked to celebrate with you. OP is asking that people wake up at 3 a.m. or earlier so that they can leave at 4.15 to arrive at 5.15. That's a big ask. And sure, most of the guests can just choose not to go. But a lot of people are going to be put in an awkward position because arriving anywhere before 5.30 is a big commitment but they can't back out without being judged, especially if OP has bridesmaids, since they'll likely need to spend hours getting ready beforehand. I don't think everyone sucks here because I think there's a lot more pressure for people to attend weddings. This is putting their family and closest friends in a really awkward spot because declining to attend a wedding of immediate family or a close friend sends a big message and gets a lot of flack and hurt feelings. In my opinion, this is a cut and dry, you're the booty hole. I think you're the booty hole. 
I have a really dumb idea. How the ceremony at sunrise and the reception at a reasonable time? Maybe dinner time? I think the sunrise ceremony is a unique and personal idea, so go for it. All the better if you have a small, intimate ceremony for it. Just tell attendees they're welcome to skip the wedding ceremony and just come to the reception. The people really close to you will be there at 5 a.m. and nobody else has anything to complain about. You're definitely the booty hole if you do a reception that early, in my opinion. You want people to get drunk and party at 7.30 a.m.? Really? The issue here isn't expecting guests to party at 8 a.m. It's expecting guests to get up at 3 a.m. to get ready and leave by 4 a.m. to get to the venue at 5 a.m. 3 a.m. is super early to most people, and it's hard to change your sleep schedule. Not to mention if they invited anyone with small children. No babysitter wants to start a shift at 4 a.m., and any kid woken up at 4 a.m. will be cranky as all hell the whole day. Once they're at the venue, they're going to enjoy it, so there's no need to make them stay up from 3 a.m., wake up at 8 p.m. dinner, party so they can enjoy more. They'll all be sleep-deprived and upset. I mean, do what you want, but if I was a guest, I would think you're the booty hole 100%. Are you going to throw a fit if one of your bridesmaids is late? Or family isn't on time and you miss the sunrise ceremony? Shit happens, and I can almost guarantee something stupid is going to happen and someone or something will be late. I mean, honestly, if you want to have five people and do this, then I would kind of understand. But a large group of people? Yes, you are an a-hole. Either cut the guest list, have it at a normal hour, or just do photos before the actual ceremony during sunrise and have the ceremony at 10 a.m. I would accidentally sleep in and miss it, and I bet a lot of people would do the same. I think maybe just do it like the two of you, the efficient and five people, and stay up the night before, otherwise someone will for sure be late. You're the booty hole by accident, and I get why you want it, and it's super lovely for you, but for your guests, it would be like catching a red-eye flight, and they would feel rubbish. Yes, OP is not the booty hole for wanting a 5.30 a.m. wedding. OP is the booty hole for asking other people to come to her 5.30 a.m. wedding. And for someone who is regularly up before 5.30 a.m. You're the booty hole. So I'm a morning person, and I love to get up early and get my day started. I'd be able to attend your wedding and be in a great mood. However, something I've learned is that most people are not. And for a while, I thought it was just because people are lazy or immature. But as I got older, I learned a lot of people wake up in pain without even realizing it or have body chemistry that makes them physically unable to just be alert at that time. For someone to make a start time of 5.30 a.m. after an hour drive, they'd have to be waking up at 2.30 or 3.30 a.m. in order to get ready. It's a wedding, so most people are going to need time to get dressed, do hair and makeup, be more fancy than they typically are. For some people, this might mean getting only three or four hours worth of sleep. People who love you want to come to support you and your wedding, I'm sure. But this is a lot more to ask than a normal wedding to the, to the degree that it might actually interfere with some people's health. I understand this is a nice tradition for you and your fiance, but it's not everyone's tradition. You have to put your family and friends in the position of looking like a non-supportive a-holes who just don't want to get up early, when honestly, what you're asking them to do is pretty unreasonable. So that wraps up today's post. Do you think OP is the booty hole here? I think what works best is having a private ceremony at sunrise and that's so meaningful for them, just the two of them, and then have the celebration with the family and friends, you know, late morning, afternoon, evening, whatever works best. Do you have any other suggestions or compromises that may work for her? We would love to hear them in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like or a comment. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to hear more and see more posts from r slash amithebootyhole and other subreddits when they come out on the channel, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and for listening.